This video is to demonstrate the integration of safety with the, the Littlest Jupiter Hub. To start, we will log in as an administrator to the, the Littlest Jupiter Hub. Once logged in, we will now open a new terminal. As part of this demonstration, we'll install several Python dependencies. To start, the JQ tool. This is not necessary for using safety, but we'll clarify a few things about the safety JSON database later. Let's suppose that the administrator installs two packages for the team using the, the Littlest Jupyter Hub instance. For example, an old version of NumPy and an old version of Django, both well known in the Python community. The administrator may not realize that these particular versions of these dependencies have known vulnerabilities. PyUp safety will allow the administrator to regularly check for vulnerabilities affecting the dependencies installed in the, the littlest Jupyter Hub server. And whenever PyUp discovers a new vulnerability, it will immediately show up allowing for quick decisions such as asking the team to update their dependencies. To analyze a vulnerability, one can simply run safety commands, optionally with the cache option, if the administrator would like to take a closer look at the underlying JSON file that is used by safety. For instance, with the JQ tool that we installed a moment ago. For normal operations, however, the full report flag will also show all the advisories for the detected vulnerabilities, as well as the CVE severity expressed as CVSS ratings in version 2 and version 3. For instance, we can see here that NumPy has a vulnerability. It shows us the current version installed, 1.16.0, and the range of affected versions. In this case, anything equal to or below 1.16.0. The ID of this vulnerability is 36810. We also see here the CVSS rating and the advisory for the vulnerability. All of these entries are in fact vulnerabilities. Here we also see Django vulnerabilities being listed. Now let's check for licenses. We run the following command. It will list all the dependencies in our The Littlest Jupyter Hub instance and the administrator can see which dependencies are not conform the permitted licenses. Concluding this demonstration, we'll also inspect the safety database itself, which shows additional information, such as a list of fixed versions, closest secure versions, latest secure version, and the vulnerability resources.